you know, my personal pitching approach, I'm not very like hitting spots oriented. I'm not a command pitcher. Uh, I know, I know what I have and, and I try to use it to the best of my ability. Um, I'm all about challenging hitters. Like you'd probably be surprised if you were to watch a start of mine, like, you know, let's say like 110 pitch start, how many pitches I'm actually trying to throw right down the middle. Um, so it's, it's kind of hard for me to say, oh yeah, it's all about like, you know, hitting your spots and movement. Like I don't really rely on movement. I throw a straight fastball and I throw a pretty straight change up. Um, your change up nasty though. Don't lie. I mean, that's a really, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a good pitch for me. I, I, the big thing is just taking the velocity off. Like, you know, if I'm throwing my fastball in like the 94, 95 range, I'm throwing my change up in like the 79 to 81 range, then I know that I'm going to be at a pretty big advantage because the hitter has to guess at that point, the velocity difference is too much to make an adjustment really. Um, so yeah, I try to take advantage of that, take advantage of, of like the tools I know I have. Uh, and I focus less on command, more about throwing, just pouring it in the zone, throwing strikes. And then, you know, once I have that O2 count or one, two count, now we can try and expand the zone and, and hit a spot. Um, so, you know, I'm not, I can't sit here and say, Oh, you know, screw velocity. It's about movement and location when I don't even like treat pitching like that. Uh, so yeah, I think velocity is very important. It, it makes your job easier. You know, I, I can't sit here and say that, in 20, 20, what was 2018, when I was throwing sinkers and I was throwing like 91 to 93, uh, compare that to what I was doing last year in 2019, throwing a four seamer. So it's not moving as much. And then, but throwing it like 94 to 96, it was easier to throw it to pitch in the big leagues at 94, 96, then 91, 93.